We have a, a partnership with um, a theatre company in Gaza called Theatre for Everybody. Yes. And um, we um, made have a commitment to maintaining our contact with them. And um, part of our brief as a, as a UK-based um, charity is that we want to use our relationship as a learning experience for all involved, particularly here in the UK, to learn about what's going on in Gaza. So we've just simply... Um, opened ourselves to the accounts that have been given to us mm -hmm. and sent to us, mainly by the um, by one of the co-directors of Theatre for Everybody, um, and those we've put on in, in readings done by actors here in London. We've we've made three events so far, um, one last night, and um, it's just to do with letting people know and have. Uh, information and experience of um, Palestinians' experience on the ground there in Gaza. So the story that Hossam has to tell yeah. is a story of an individual, but it, it paints a picture of a, a story of a whole society. Yeah, and, um, and, and in terms of some of the work that you've done previously, uh, do you want to tell our viewers a little bit about that? I know I've had you on before and you have described it in detail. We also had a VT that we played, but it would really help uh, if you could just describe again what you were doing and your, what your company what, did. I think it was marvellous. What, what we're doing, what we've been doing in Gaza? or That's or correct, in, yeah. Yeah. No, well, it's simple. I mean, we, uh, in the early um, 2000s, um, we were running a project called War Stories, which was a, a, a partnership between companies in Gaza, in um, Algeria, in Kosovo, in Serbia, in Italy, um, and we were running workshops in order to um, look at the ways in which people could enact, find out what their relationship to the processes that happen in, in wars mm -hmm. was. Um, and that was where we met the, um, the Theatre for Everybody practitioners. And when, in 2008-9, I was phoning them up, um, in order to find out how they were, because Gaza at that point was under attack, um, uh, I, I could hear the bombs in the background. I could okay. hear the missiles in the background, and that really persuaded me that this was something that we really needed to pursue, to to look at the relationship between a company like ours, which is based in a war-producing country, and a, a company like theirs that's based in a war-receiving country. So that, that, that started our, our partnership. And in terms of uh, this country in the UK, how, have you, how has your company sort of helped to uh, reach out to British audiences about, uh, about your work? We've, we've, we've run events. Um, we've run events. I mean, initially it was with Skype, but now it's with Zoom. I hope it does, it's okay to mention those commercial yeah, please, outputs you, you online. Can, yeah. It's not advertising. It's just simply saying what the functional companies that have helped us to make those communications are. And we've run events where publics here could meet with publics there, could look at the work that was done there, could meet the people that were involved in that work, and to some extent participate in that work um, between the two situations in which we're working. Also... Um, I visited Gaza in 2011 and made a film, and that film also tells you a lot about the work that we'd um, co-produced with Theatre for Everybody and, um, and also about the general sort of circumstances of people in Gaza. So it, it's very much to do with um, education, arts, in a world where we're seeing such disastrous unmaking, the unmaking of people's homes, the unmaking of people's lives, the destruction of infrastructure, the destruction of the means of life, the destruction of the environment, the inculcation of disease and yeah. epidemic, and an assault on a population which really um, properly should be called genocide, not war. Um, I think that what, we've, what we look for is creativity and we look for making and we look to for, for voice and for articulation and for poetry and for beauty yes. and to uh, to advance those kinds of qualities and to counterpose those to the process of unmaking that the people are going through but i i can't you can't talk about this in terms of quantitative impacts 
you have to talk about it in terms of, of, of a certain kind of space that's opened up for people to recognize that part of creativity is admitting what's happening in the world and continuing to create nevertheless.